Hi everyone, our subject today is neonatal fever, fever in infant less than three months of age. Basics, the most commonly used definition of fever is a rectal temperature of 38 Celsius or above. The term fever without a source, FWS, and fever without localizing signs, FWLS, are used to describe fever of a duration of less than one week that develop acutely in a previously well child in whom no likely cause for the fever is evident after a through history and physical examination. Prior to the development of the conjugate Haemophilus H influenza type B and pneumococcal vaccine management guidelines, Boston, Roch, Rochester, Philadelphia, for fever in young uh, children uh, were a, aimed at identifying those at risk for bacteremia in order, uh, in order to reduce their risk of subsequent serious bacterial infection, meningitis, sepsis, osteomyelitis, septic arthritis, UTI, pneumonia, bacterial enteritis, in the current era of widespread use of these conjugate vaccine, the risk of occult bacteremia in well-appearing child has been significantly reduced, diminishing the usefulness of such guidelines. Alerts. Febrile in unit, those younger than 28 days of old, should be hospitalized for further evaluation and treatment. Similarly, children who do not look well, any child who appears significantly ill or toxic, should be hospitalized for further evaluation and treatment, regardless of their age or immunization status. A total of 6.5% uh, of all infants less than three months of old have been reported to have rectal temperature of 38 Celsius. Nevertheless, because it is unknown which of these infants have these relatively high normal temperature, it is safest to consider 38 Celsius as an abnormal temperature fever in this age group. A rectal temperature is the best method of assessment of body core temperature and is recommended when evaluating infant younger than three months of age. Axillary and tympanic membrane temperature measurements are not recommended. Infant with fever documented at home by a reliable caretaker should be treated as the same as if the fever were documented by a healthcare worker. The role of bundling in the evaluation of body temperature is controversial. Bundling and a warm ambient temperature may contribute to an elevation in skin temperature more than rectal temperature in young infants, but elevation in, into a febrile range is unlikely. Some studies suggest an infant with the normal temperature obtained 15 to 30 minutes after unbundling can be considered a febrile. Others do not recommend attributing temperature in febrile range, especially temperature 38.5 Celsius to bundling. History. The birth history include duration of rupture membranes and history of maternal infection, group B streptococcal, sexually transmitted infection may be helpful, particularly in very young infant. A history of exposure to sick contact and any use of medication, antibiotic, antibiotics should also be elicited. A medical history of sickle cell disease, immune deficiency, congenital heart disease, a central venous line or malignancy is significant and will alter the approach to a febrile child. Individualized clinical judgment should be used when assessing fever in these high-risk children. Symptoms of disease may be non-specific and include history of fever or hypothermia, poor feeding, vomiting, diarrhea, fuzziness, sleepiness, seizure, rash, cough, rhinorrhea, difficulty breathing. Physical exam. 
The ability to determine serious bacterial infection by physical exam is difficult and unreliable in this age group. The physical exam may be normal. Signs are often nonspecific and may include fever or hypothermia, lethargy, irritability, bulging fontanel, tachypnea, grunting, retractions, joint swelling, abdominal distension, rash, Low risk criteria for infants with fever, not neonate. Criteria established prior to the use of the current H influenza type B and pneumococcal vaccine to identify infant as a low risk for a serious bacterial infection continue to be useful in the management of infant age age between 29 days to 90 days. Clinically, well appearing, previously healthy, no focal source of infection. Low risk laboratory criteria, urine analysis, white BC less than uh, 10 per hyper field, no bacteria on gram stain, complete blood count, white BC 5000 to 15000, uh, uh, less than or equal to 1,500 uh, 1, band cell. Chest ref the radiograph if obtained. No evidence of discrete infiltration. Stool smear when diarrhea is present. Negative for a blood less than 5 uh, white BC per high power field. Fever without source. After performing history and physical examination, if the age between uh, from birth to 28 days of age, temperature 38 Celsius or more, this is need for hospital admission for sepsis evaluation, blood, urine, CSF culture, and empiric antibiotic treatment. Differential diagnosis, urinary uh, tract infection, bacteremia, sepsis, meningitis, bacterial or viral, including herpes, osteomyelitis, bacterial enteritis, and viral infection. If the age 29 to 90 days, well appearing, no focus of infection, no history of prematurity, no recent use of antibiotic. If uh, one of these present, uh, patient need hospital admission and work up. If no, uh, if uh, all of these present, patient need outpatient management uh, and investigation with complete blood count with differential blood culture, urine analysis, culture, chest x-ray if respiratory symptom, lumbar puncture and CSF study, stool study for blood and white VC if diarrhea present. Any abnormal lab result, white VC less than 5,000 or more than uh, 15,000 to 20,000, Absolute band count uh, more than uh, 1,500 or ratio more than 0.2. Abnormal urine analysis, CSF pileocytosis. Consider admission to hospital for antibiotic treatment. Differential diagnosis is the same. If it is normal or low risk lab result, white BC more than 5,000 or less than 15,000. Absolute uh, band count less than uh, 1,500. Normal urine analysis, a stool with uh, less than five per white BC per high power field. CSF normal if obtained. Arrange for uh, follow up in 24 hour. Consider empiric antibiotic. Do lumbar puncture before admission of uh, administering antibiotic. Differential diagnosis also the same have a low threshold to test and treat for herpes simplex virus infection in ill-appearing neonate, CSF analysis as a routine part of diagnostic evaluation should be done, at minimum before performing for febrile patient less than 28 days. Variable other age cut off including six weeks and two months may be also used. Urine should be obtained by either catheterization or suprapupic aspiration to avoid the risk of contamination. The addition of viral testing culture PCR 
to CSF study can aid in the identification of infant at low risk for serious bacterial infection. Infant with an identified viral infection are at a very low risk for bacterial infection. A stool should be examined for white PC when diarrhea is present. Culture should be sent if microscopic analysis cannot be performed. Will appearing infant with the abnormal urine analysis in the face of normal blood test, normal absolute neutrophil count and band count can probably be safely treated with the outpatient parenteral antibiotic for the presumed urinary tract infection. Children with the suspected UTI who appear severely ill or are vomiting should be hospitalized for IV antibiotic therapy. Beyond two months of age, oral therapy for suspected UTI has been proven to be as efficacious as parenteral therapy. Pierce and Pitfall Parenteral report, parenteral report of fever via palpation is unreliable as a sole method of determining fever. A response to antibiotic uh, medication does not change the likelihood of an infant having serious bacterial infection. Clinical assessment include a through history and physical examination, include question about recent symptom, vaccination, exposure to sick contact, and the child's birth history in the patient's history. The large majority of children with fever without localizing sign in the one to three month age group likely have a viral syndrome. Will appearing infant one to three months of age, not a neonate, can be managed safely using low-risk laboratory and clinical criteria if reliable parents are involved and a close follow-up is assured. Among serious bacterial infection, pyelonephritis is the most common and may be seen in well-appearing infants who have fever without a focus or in those who appear ill. Urine analysis may be negative in infants less than two months of age with pyloronephritis. Analysis of CSF for herpes simplex virus using polyromase chain reaction PCR may be considered in a neonate with the CSF pediocytosis and negative gram stain. Delaying or omitting lumbar puncture for CSF analysis may be considered in young infant 29 to 60 days of age with the fever without localization who meet all applicable low-risk clinical and laboratory criteria. If antimicrobial therapy will be initiated in infant who meet low risk criteria, CSF specimen need to be collected prior to treatment. Chest X-ray may be performed in a neonate and young infant, 29 to 60 day of age, who manifest one or more of the following clinical finding: tachypnea more than 60 breath per minute, crackles in the chest, retraction nasal flaring, cyanosis, or oxygen saturation less than 95%. In patients who are not responding to antimicrobial therapy, the clinic, uh, clinician should consider addition evaluation and the treatment option, including alternative antimicrobial therapy for resistant organism in a neonate only, CSF for herpes simplex virus, PCR, if not completely uh, completed previously, and empiric treatment with acyclovir if pileocytosis is present in the CSF or if there is a history of maternal herpes simplex virus infection. Infant age less than or equal to 60 days continue to have the highest rate of serious bacterial infection and pose a challenge to a practitioner attempting to determine how extensive an evaluation to perform in a non-toxic appearing child. Urinary tract infection are the most common serious bacterial infection in all age group. Assessment for UTI should be part of any evaluation for all but the lowest risk patient circumcised boy. 
a new technology can more rapidly diagnose common viral and bacterial infection and recommendation to simplify the management of those febrile infant and children are needed. Medication, first line empiric treatment for term infant more than 3 kg, age 7 days or less, combination therapy of ampicillin and gentamicin. If age 8, day, eight days to 90 days, also combination therapy of ampicillin and cefotaxime or ceftriaxone. In a new unit, avoid if any concern for hyperbilirubinemia. Many clinicians avoid use entirely in a new net. If the age more than one month, uh, this is the dose of the ceftriaxone. Second line treatment, vancomycin for suspected staph aureus or uh, streptococcus pneumoniae meningitis. Uh, acyclovir for suspected uh, herpes simplex virus infection. Dexamethasone for presumed bacterial meningitis. Thank you for your listening.